This is the widely sought after Edie Lucian's VMAX Premium Collection Set. There are three boxes in the set, Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. I honestly didn't think I would ever find these, but they were right there at GameStop, so I had to pick them up. I'll be opening these in a three-part series, so go ahead and make sure you are subscribed, and today we're going to be looking at the Jolteon VMAX Premium Collection Box. Each of these boxes comes with two promo cards, an oversized card, six boosters, one coin, and one pin. That is a lot of stuff. But more than anything, I'm excited about these alternate art promo cards. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. These promo cards are by far the best promo cards I've ever seen in any of these collection boxes. It's absolutely incredible. As always, you've heard me say this before. If you've been here before, if not, letting you know, most of the plastics that these come in, if not all of them, are graded a number one, which means that they are highly recyclable. You can see a little number one uh, right there. And that means that if your town accepts recyclables, they accept a number one. Look at this gorgeous little coin right there. It's actually really nice. Jolteon looks a little crazy, I will say. Maybe because he knows how sick his artwork's about to be. This is incredible. From what I've been hearing, this is a card that was cut from a main set, uh, but then included as a promo. Bouncing off the walls like a little lightning bolt maniac. These promo cards alone honestly make these uh, these boxes like worth getting. But now we've got the VMAX, which is the matching card that goes with the jumbo that you see here in the box. Also, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's got the texture. It's got the shimmer. It's got the color contrast. Check out the back here. Centering looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. There's so much cool stuff in this thing. It's ridiculous. Like this beautiful little pin. What I do is I take the little card dividers that come in the ETBs and I just punch them through those and put the little backings back on them. So it's like a card with the pins in it. And I just hold like up to four or five pins in a single card. And then I, I put those in an ETB. Then we obviously have our jumbo card. Everybody's least favorite thing in these uh, these boxes, but I really like them. You get a nice up close look at this artwork. It's got the texture there, which matches the card. So you can actually see the details that went into creating the texture. It's not just a random texture. It actually maps to the, the uh, shapes of the Pokemon and the things that are in it. So it's a really, really interesting thing when you look really close at them. A lot of thought and detail goes into these things. And these jumbo cards are a great representation of everything that you're not getting to see on those smaller cards because the details are so much finer. Okay. And then we've got obviously our packs. We've got some Fusion Strike, which is one of my all-time favorite sets. We got some Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Rebel Clash, and Vivid Voltage. And a code card going out to the Fang Gang. Best of luck. Right there are our chase cards for this set. The Boss's Orders, uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Rare, and the Sonya Full Art. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war and let's see what we get starting off we got a water energy turf field stadium a carcoal patrum vulpix coughing shinx galarian yamask applin cramorant reverse is there actually a reverse rare and a zamazenta non-hollow rare and let's go into chilling rain next and we'll see what we get from good old Chilling Rain. Uh, Darkness Energy to start. We got a Cybold, Curlia, Agatha, Inke, Rockruff, Ghastly, Ghosty, uh, Good Luck Ghosties in the house. Actually, gonna set him now in there. Ladyba, Oregon. Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Skies, Mouthful, uh, is our reverse. And a Benetti is our non hollow rare. Let's go with, let's do Vivid Voltage. Let's work our way up to the more recent sets. So we'll do Vivid Voltage. Obviously, Pikachu is the chase card, but there's plenty of other great cards in there that I'd be happy to pull. We got a Darkness Energy, League Staff, Crock-A-Rock, uh, Aromatic Energy, Clefairy, 
Whalmer, Tynamo, Execute, Chadot, Lycanroc, Reverse Rare, another Reverse Rare for the, for the pile, and a Dawn Fan for our Rare. I actually like the Lycanroc quite a bit better. And let's do Evolving Skies next. Umbreon's for days is what I'm looking for. And then when we get into Fusion Strike, you see that I'm looking for Espeons, oddly enough. All right, we have a Leaf Energy, Lucky Ice Pop, Tentacruel, Palpitoad, Petalil, Pikachu, Rufflet, Pumpkaboo, one of my favorite little Halloween Pokemon, Lotad, Spirit Mask Reverse, super creepy artwork in this one. I'd hate to see somebody walking down the street wearing this in the middle of the night. And another pincer. And let's move on to Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, baby. So many great cards in the set. Super underrated. Actually, really pumped to be opening more of it. Brilliant Stars is out in a few weeks as of recording this. Today is actually pre release day. Or fusion strike or um brilliant stars and uh nobody around me actually has it so unfortunately nobody has the build and battle boxes for me to pick up but that's okay because uh it doesn't come out for another couple of weeks plenty of other great youtubers making content on brilliant stars got sizzlepede reverse rare and a gorbis non-hollow rare again man we got to break this spell obviously the the promo cards that came with these are really awesome, but to get no hits out of these, what, eight packs, six packs, it's pretty rough. So one, two, three, and four. Hope we can get something. We got an Electric Energy, Shauna, Victini, Electric, Totodile, Phantom, love Phantom's little Haunted uh, Tree Stump, Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy. I always like this Dreepy artwork because it just looks like a big smile. Like, like cheesing from like ear to ear. We've got the Latius Reverse Rare. This is actually um, the Latius that's stamped in the pre-release for Fusion Strikes. Uh, for one of four pre-release cards. And an Electros as a non-hollow rare. Uh, unfortunately, that's all we ended up getting from this box. I really love these alternate art um, promos. Let me know if you were able to get any of those. What do you think of these boxes? If they start making more of these promo boxes with these alternate art Black Star promos, I would be thrilled because these two are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so stick around. Make sure to like this video. It really helps me out. Like it's not just an expression. It seriously does help me out. Uh, you're about to get recommended a video that's going to pop up right here that I picked out just for you to watch next. Subscribe if you want to join the fan gang. We've got a really awesome community. Follow me on Instagram, Pokefang Official. As always, see you in the next one and happy haunting, Fang Gang. Peace.